now we will discuss about various input output functions available in a C language. They are br broadly classified into two groups. One is console input output function and second one is file input output functions. These first one console input output functions. These functions receive input from the keyboard and write them to the video visual display unit. Okay. And the file input output function, this function perform input output operation on the hard disk or your pen drive or a floppy. So this is the two type of functions available in C language. So first of all we study about the console input output function and the last module we will uh, go through the file input output functions. Let's discuss about console input output functions. Keyboard and screen together card console. Okay. This is the behind the name of these functions. Console input output functions are further classified into two formatted input output function and unformatted input output functions. Okay. So we will go through the format input output functions. The formatted input fo output functions have this, these two functions printf and scanf functions come under this category. Okay. They provide the flexibility to receive input in some fixed format and to give the output in the desired format. So that's the printf and scanf functions. Okay. Let's discuss about the printf function. In the programming language, printf function is used to print the character string, float, double, integer, octal and hexadecimal values onto the output screen. <coughs> this function is used for printing the data to the output screen. We use printf function with percentage d format specifier to display the value of an integer variable. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to write the printf function and if we use the format specifier percentage d, we can write an integer value, integer variable value to the uh, output screen okay so like that similarly if we use the percentage c for my specifier we can write a character into the c program uh, dis uh, display okay like the percentage f for float variables and percentage s for string variables percentage lf for double and percentage x for octal and percentage x for hexadecimal variables okay Another important thing is if you want to generate a new line, we use slash n in the cprintf function. Okay. Statements are printed using double quotes. So this is another important thing. If you want to print some statements, so we have to use the double quotes. Inside the double quotes, we have to specify. Okay. Uh, we will see some examples how to do all these things. Okay. Uh, let me take not bad. Uh, use a not bad plus plus. Okay. So I want to just print. So C program will have a void main. Inside that we have to we have to we can print inside the inside this curly bracket we can write the C program if you want to use printf you want to include the header file hash include stdio.x so you have to include this header file then uh, if you want to use printf it should be like this printf then if you want to say something suppose I want to print my name of okay, something so uh, it's a statement. It's a that's a, that's the main thing. Yeah, I have specified here. If you, if you want to, uh, statements are printed using double quotes. So statements are printed like this, printed within double quotes. So we can specify like this. Okay, just a minute. I will just save this file. statements are printed like this within double quotes so uh, I'm using an integer variable suppose integer variables are created like this int a 
I am going to store a equal to 5. Next, I want to print the value of a. Then, I have to write like this printer. See, if you simply write like this, what happens is that it will print a, not the value of a. If I want to print the value of a, I have to write like this printer. Within double quotes, I have to use the format specifier percentage b that I have specified just now. Then you have to give a comma. Then you have to specify a. This is a format for printing a variable of integer type. Okay, like that. If I I want to uh, print a plot value, I have to use the format specifier percentage f. Hope you understand the concept. So this is for printing the for printing the data. Let me let me continue. Suppose I want to use, I want to print like this. Suppose I want to, I will write one more. If I want to print two lines, I want to print uh, uh, in, in new lines. Suppose I want to print print up. I want to print like my name is So all these lines will be printed in the same line. If I want to print uh, these two statements, two lines, I have to use the I have to use slash m. Slash is a backward slash. So we'll discuss about this back backward slash later. So this is the things we have discussed till now. So what we have to discuss is, is if you want to print, we have to use printf functions, and in printf. If you want to print a statement, you have to use a double quotes. And if you want to print uh, some values, okay. Suppose I want to print a float float value. Float means a uh, decimal value. I have to use a format specifier like this. And if you if I want to print uh, in different different lines, I have to use uh, uh, use a format slash m slash m printer. We'll discuss this later more thoroughly okay so this is printer now uh, we will go through scanner functions in c programming language scanner function is used to read character string numeric data from the keyboard a scanner is used for reading and printf is used for writing make it clear this the format specifier percentage d is used in scanner statements so that the value entered is received as integer and percentage s for string. Ampersand is used before the variable name in scanner statement as like this. So in printf we don't want to use the ampersand but in the case of scanner we have to use an ampersand sign. Okay, suppose we have we have used and of a. a is the variable. I am going to store the value and if I use ampersand a what Compiler 2 is that will receive the input and go to the address of A. A will have an address which can be anything like 7635 or any number. Okay, uh, any number assigned to that, that memory address will be that. So, uh, compiler will go to there and it will store there. After that, it will store the value on that particular address. So, that's the indication of AND. If we, if we use AND in C programming, what it means is that it is. The compiler will do all these process. It will check the address location of that variable, and we will find out that location and it will store that. So we should be very careful while using ampersand. Okay, both printf and scanner functions are declared in stdio.h. That's why I have included stdio.h in the header uh, in, uh, in my program because if I want to use the printf and scanner. I have to include these two, this header file, okay, header file in C library. All syntax in C language, including printf and scanner functions are very much case sensitive. So it's very case sensitive functions are this. Okay, we will, we will uh, ex I will write scan. I want to, uh, suppose I want to read a data. Suppose I have a variable a, b. This means, if you write in b, what it means is that b is a variable, 
variable means I can uh, it's a symbol uh, which can which indicates a memory location int b means uh, compiler will allocate a memory space in a computer which can store an integer value okay. and that variable will have an address and that address will be assigned to this variable the symbol p so using this b symbol i can access that memory location okay so i want to read a data uh, to p what i have write is that i have write the format like this scanner then we have to use a format specifier percentage d so as an integer so we have to specify like this then we have to give a comma then and of a you have to write like the and of p so and of a so what the compiler will do is that it will uh, scanner function will read the data and that data will be stored in b b will have a memory location suppose it's thousand okay data will be stored in thousand so this is a format of scanner hope you understand the difference between printf and scanf printf is used for printing and scanf is used for reading so if you want to read data from the user you have to use scan if you want to say something to the user we have to use